an extra typhoxin here. Then we create a Java project. Okay, we can do. Let's say demo and writing. Now you have to give that path, right? Where your uh, okay. So I have already created the demo. So here I am changing it to let's say a demo one, right? Um, the location I have to locate that particular file it is available in here, right? Then I have selected the folder. Okay, then I have to click finish. So once the file is come, we can do the experimentations. So now to create a new model. Okay, now the model is created, but you see it's now a search is coming, right? Yes, the problem is fixed. So after this, uh, anybody has done? So I hope you will not face problem because uh, I have uh, some issue because I have already created, that's why it is an issue. Anybody has completed up to this? Just you have to create a Java project and uh, you have to give the uh, location of your, uh, your uh, file, right? Then uh, you have to check that whether SRC, this, uh, this thing is coming or not, that cloud scene, everything is coming or not. Anybody? And you see that you got the SRC folder? I pull it from it. Okay, okay, no problem. So anybody completed up to this? So what you can do after complete after finding this one, you have to go to the example folder. Okay, in the example folder you have fogy.java. Right, sir? Uh, are you getting this fogy.java? Just you have to see this particular file. Okay, then you run H Java application. You run it as a Java application. So let me divide my screen into two parts where you can see this is the simulator that is the fog couple simulator. And in this part, you can see whenever you are adding a particular node, automatically the output will be shown, right? Like you can see here, till now we have not created any topology. Right, we have not created any topology here. Let me reduce the screen so that you can see the output also. Yeah. Okay. So after this, is, uh, Roy, sir, are you getting this thing? This pop topology creator, right? So initially, I will tell you how you will use the existing topology. So you can create, click this particular folder and go to your ifox sim where your ifox sim is there. So, ifoxin is now available under day 7, right? So, this master file you have to open. Inside this master file, you can see there is a topology folder. So, inside topology folder, there is some predefined topologies there. See, I am I am adding a topology that is br underscore game underscore topu, right? If you open it, if you import this particular file, so then you can see a topology is coming here, right? Let me increase it. So you can see a topology here. Where the bottom layer is nothing but your sensors or actuators. So here you can see this is your sensor, this is your actuator, this is your sensor, this is actuator, this is another sensor, actuator, one sensor and actuator, right? Then you have a fog layer. Okay, you can see there is a M01, M00. There are four fog devices are there. They are connected to the data center. And further, the data center is connected to the proxy server and cloud, right? This is a particular topology which is already given in the uh, fog scene. So let us understand this thing, what it is written here. So you can see, whenever you are creating an upper topology, you can see there are four sensors are there. So here you can see it is showing the sensor type is EEG. 
okay while you are creating the sensors you can uh, give the sensor name for example it is a soil moisture sensor or pid sensor or temperature sensor or humidity sensor so whatever sensor we have used here these sensors are called eeg sensor right so it is written here now it is saying whenever you are adding an edge between your for your iot layer to this is your iot layer when you are adding iot layer to the fog layer or to the fog layer to the cloud layer whenever you are establishing a particular link whatever link you are seeing that link is reflected here so it is saying there is a link between a00 a00 is the actuator to m00 this link it is talking about okay similarly a01 to m01 a01 to m01 right and there is a link between d1 to the proxy server d2 to the proxy server right similarly s01 to m01 and s uh, s01 to m01 then a10 to m10 right this link okay then s11 to your m11 right and s00 to m00 that is very s00 yes s00 to m00 so all the links we are defining here so like this is a predefined topology that's why it is already whenever you are importing that uh, topology you are getting the things but whenever you create a new topology you will see how this commands are working right now you can also see the mips size that is million instruction per second because each and every device is having a mips to process a particular thing ram for processing upload bandwidth and download bandwidth everything is defined here you can also change this thing i'll tell you how to change this thing right similarly you can see there is a connection established the starting node is your m11 you can see the starting node is m11 and your target node is d2 so there should be a connection available between m11 and d2 otherwise it will fail similarly you can see there is a starting node a11 and it is connected to your m11 this is the data transfer between two different module or two different sorry two different devices you can see proxy server is now contacting your cloud so a set of communications whatever happen in this particular topology is listed here right so these topologies are already there in your foxy so no need to worry right similarly other topology you can explore now what i will tell you i will tell you how to create a new topology in order to create a new topology again you run that file that is fog gui dot java run as your java application now there is a blank screen is coming so i want to establish a particular topology i want to keep some sensor in the iot layer so what i'll do let me first create the data center so i am creating a data center let's say data center i am writing data center 1 you have to mention what in which level you want to place this data center like i told you in uh, fog layer also you have some data center with limited capacity right unlimited capacity are going to get in cloud layer so you mention level 0 mention the uplink band bandwidth and downlink bandwidth whatever you are getting in the output screen now it will come like this okay so you can specify then how much million of instruction it can execute per second what is the ram size and what is the rate or mips okay rate of transfer right that you can decide okay so uh, you can see here one data center is created here right now you can see i want to add a fog device let uh, the fog device is my gateway like i told you in the slide also you can see here there is a cloud and there is two gateway so i am creating two gateway one with i am writing gateway 0 okay one i am writing gateway 0 okay level is 1 some uplink you have to specify downlink you have to specify mips you can specify i am writing randomly so you can follow something right the instruction is let's say 10 mi something right so gateway is created similarly i can create another gateway as for the slide so i have to create another gateway one in the level one uplink i am again specifying downlink i am specifying something mips i am writing and ram i am writing and rate i am writing right
creating, you can see the corresponding code is here generated. Right? You can see now gateway 0 is there, data center 1 is there, gateway 1 is there. Earlier, gateway 0, data center 1 is there. Prior to that, only data center 1 is there. Right? Now I want to add a sensor. If you want to add a sensor, you can clear here. You can write temperature sensor. Okay, and specify its type. Let's say its type is also temperature, right? TMP. And which type of distribution it is following, you have to specify, right? For example, I want to go for deterministic. So I have to only supply the value, right? The range of uh, temperature. Okay. So you can see a temperature sensor is added and it is reflected here, right? So if you go to this slide, how many sensors are there? There are two sensors are there. Okay. What I'll do, I'll create another sensor. I am clicking sensor. So I am writing there is a EEG sensor, right? I am writing the type is EEG. Distribution type is let's say uniform. I am specifying minimum is 100 and maximum is 1000. In distribution, if you go to probability distribution, this thing is minimum, right? So now EEG is created. Now I am creating the actuator. Actuator I am mentioning. It, uh, what is the name mentioned in the slide? They have written actuator 0. Okay. Actuator 0. Right? I am writing actuator 0. Okay. One actuator is created. I want to create another actuator. So I am writing actuator 1. Right? Okay. Actuator 1. So the same thing I want to write here. Right? So now the, you have created different devices with respect to the layer. Here, professor, you are specifying minimum or maximum value. With respect to the maximum, you have to select the minimum and maximum value, that is the range or you have to specify a particular value, sometimes you have to give mean and standard deviation value as well. Okay, in that way, the data will be generated. Now I want to connect. So let me connect data center 1 with gateway 0. So I am clicking here. I am writing here data center 1. Yes, is connected to gateway 0. I am writing the latency is 100 in soft time unit. So you can see it is already connected, right? The result is coming here. Now I want to connect the data center one with your uh, which one I want to connect okay there is another gateway right data center one with gateway one yes gateway one right I am writing some latency so now they are connected to each other similarly I want to connect gateway one gateway zero with the temperature sensor right so it is connected right like that you can connect right like I can connect gateway 0 with EEG signal, EEG sensor, I'm writing some latency. Similarly, I can create a link between the gateway 1 to the actuator 1. Okay, actually there is a mistake. We have to to one sensor and one actuator. Okay, anyway, you know how to create, right? Now you can see there is a actuator is connected to the gateway 1, right? Similarly, I can also connect the gateway 1 with the actuator 0, right? With some latency. Okay, let me add another actuator. I am writing actuator, actuator 2, right? Actuator 2. And I am adding this actuator with your gateway 0. So I want to say get 0 to 0 is connected to your actuator 2, right? Okay, now it is connected, right? Then there is a view button, your execution is there. So you can see here, the data, whatever you are uploading, you are giving link, everything is created here, right? Which one is target node, which one is start node, as I mentioned earlier, that is created. So whenever you will execute, okay, you are going to see, is executing if some communication happens between the cog nodes to the gateway with whatever data you have given based on that they are going to send the data so you can see what is the communication done right your start node is your gateway zero so whenever you click this execution this page is refreshed right you are getting new data okay so the start node is your gateway zero okay and your target node is your temperature sensor Right, as well as EEG. Okay, similarly, data center one is your start node, gateway zero and gateway one is your target node. So, in this way, you can connect various devices 
in the uh, hypoxia.